what is up guys god bless you all and welcome back to a new video today we're gonna upgrade the ignition system on the nissan sentra so yeah good morning good evening good afternoon i hope all of you have been doing amazing like the title says today we're gonna upgrade the ignition system on the sentra and let me show you what we're doing let's go and boom yeah right here we have what we're gonna be doing on the Sentra and the first thing I have actually we got a set of BMS uh, cables these ones right here are actually 10.2 millimeter they're very thick you guys can see how thick they look next to my thumb shout out to Manny he actually gave me these ones last month also we're gonna replace our spark plugs you guys saw that we actually gapped these ones last week. And of course, we're gonna actually uh, replace our external ignition coil. And this one is a OEM NGK external coil from an SR20DE. And basically, this one is not a plug and play. I have to get a coil, and of course, I have to get the wiring harness, and we're gonna be actually doing uh the harness so yeah so basically by having all this together we should have better ignition which it should help on um, performance on the centra so uh yeah um let's go all right so here we have the centra and last week i installed a velocity stack on the centra straight to the turbo if you haven't seen the pictures you guys should give me a follow-up on Instagram and Facebook. Obviously, this one goes behind the wheel well and actually comes all the way right here into my turbo. So as uh, soon as I'm actually uh, boosting, the car is actually receiving cold air, which is what I want to do. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out the, in the coil because uh, that's what I'm concerned the most. I want to actually get that done. Then after that, I go ahead and I'm gonna actually replace power plugs and the wiring. Uh, a quick piece of advice that I give you, this is not a tutorial, <clears throat> and I'm not gonna be helping nobody to do this if you guys wanna do it, but you might guess I don't have any wiring diagram for nobody, so please don't message me asking me for a diagram because I don't have them. Also, if you decide to do it, what I do recommend doing is doing one plug at a time because it's very easy to get confused on the coil and change the firing order, which if this will make your car to don't start. So yeah, let me start pulling everything from here to start that wiring. So yeah, let's go. So successfully, I got the GA16DE ignition coil out, and here I have the SR20DE one. You guys can see that this one is a lot bigger. Um, this one seems like it was an OEM Nissan because it has a part number slightly erased and it has the Nissan logo right there. And um, the first thing that I see is that um, the spacing for the mounting points are different. Um, you guys can see that the one in the SR20 is a bit actually uh, taller. So I'm assuming it's not gonna actually fit with two bolts. Besides that, um, of course, the plug on the GA16DE um, is not the same one on the SR20DE. And that's why obviously I got my external wiring right here just to do that so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go ahead and i have my oem wiring i'm gonna basically uh, remove this one to put this one i'm gonna mount uh, the external coil and i'm gonna make sure that the car start up um, before i go ahead and replace everything so uh yeah let's put that one on right now and boom, yeah, just like that, I have the SR20 DE uh, external coil right there. Um, it's hard to see, 
I was able to basically bolt on just one bolt. Like I said, the measurements for this one is a little bit bigger than the other ones. I kind of fit both of them. Also, I went ahead and I might cut my wiring right here. It's not finished because I want to make sure everything works before I do that. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to make sure that the car starts. Make sure that's good. Uh, he wrapped that and we should be all set with that. So yeah, let's see if the car fired up. All right, let's see. Battery is actually back. Everything is plugged right here. This is plugged. Let's double check. Here's my OEM GA16 DE coil plug right there. So now that I know that my wiring is working the way it should, let me use my heat gun to finish those wires and we're gonna start actually now uh, swapping the spark plugs and the wiring. So uh, let me finish this wiring. You guys don't wanna see me doing wires. I know that's boring, so let me get that done. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually pull those spark plugs. So yeah, let's go. All right, so I got my wiring done, everything the way I did everything same as when I did the alternator on the car. It's good to go. Um, something that I do want to share is that the initial coil actually sits too low. Let me get a camera right there for you. You guys can see. The initial coil kind of sits too low and I had to actually uh, move it slightly forward in order to make it fit. You guys can see the plug right there um, because my harness was actually touching the EGR piping. Most likely that's the next thing I'm gonna get done. But for now, um, this will do. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for getting all that crap out of here, but uh, one step at a time, you know how things go. So yeah, let me plug that back and now we're gonna go ahead and actually um, start swapping the spark plugs on the wire. So yeah, let's go. So I went ahead and replaced the first power plug. Um, here is uh, the previous one. It doesn't look that bad. Um, the mixture doesn't look bad at all. Um, but yeah, it has a yellow arc over here. And basically it was, that was a sign that this one needed to be replaced. So yeah, I would all go with the new. Now what I'm gonna do, since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, start swapping the spark plugs one by one because obviously I don't want to lose track over here on the distributor where they're supposed to go so uh, I'm just tracing this cable let me see where it goes I don't see it I see it now all right one out it's gonna go here for now now let's find the right one probably is going to be the longest of course let's see which one is the longest uh, probably is this one right here always get to the habit of measuring things you guys can see that this one even though it's upside down is the same measurement so yeah we have our cable right here this one's gonna go right here, just like that. And this one is gonna go the same spot where I removed the previous one. So now that you guys know what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and get you on time blast and replace actually all of them. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, 
that just like that my work is done you guys can see all the new wiring uh, it looks amazing these wires are thick man um, here's one of the old ones compared to the new one you guys can see the difference so yeah this uh, upgrade is gonna help me a lot um, yeah you guys see it in the spire plugs new spark plug wires, a new SR20DE external ignition coil. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. So yeah, guys, there you guys have it. The Sentra now has a complete upgraded ignition system. Yes, I can do better than that, but for now, I'm just trying just to um, improve things little by little. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Share with a friend, consider becoming a member so you guys can see your name after every video. And I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and God bless you all.